Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we start coding a linked list. So let's just have a recap on a linked list. We're going to take a few items. We're going to take Bill, Fred, Mary and Bob and so Vera in there as well. And we're going to add them to the linked list in that order. So I'm just going to put the position numbers in here and if we add them in that order Bill, Fred, Mary, Bob and Vera we've initialized the linked list we need to set the pointer system up so with a linked list we have a start pointer so we're going to set the start pointer to the first item alphabetically in that list which happens to be Bill in position 1, so the start pointer is equal to 1. Bill pointer then gives the address of the next location alphabetically in the list. So we've got Bob. Bob refers then alphabetically, the pointer holds the address of the next location which is Fred's, Fred's holds Mary's, Mary's holds Vera's and Vera is going to have a null pointer. So that is our linked list set up. Now in order to be for a linked list to be efficient, we have another set of pointers. I'm going to call this the next free pointer. And this is going to indicate position 6 is available for a new item if we need it. And so we've got a secondary list set up for our next free. Okay, so there is our linked list. Now, there are five algorithms to learn for AQA, AS computing, A2 computing, five algorithms and these are to output the linked list, to add to the linked list, it's different if you add at the beginning or within, to delete an item from the linked list, either delete from the beginning or delete within. So we're going to start with how we output the linked list. Now one way, because there are several different ways, could be to use a particular loop that works through. Now in this case I'm going to use a do while loop. So let's have a look at how this may look. So we're going to do while the current pointer is not equal to zero. Uh, the first thing I'll do is set that current pointer equal to zero. Okay. Not zero, sorry, to the start pointer. So we're going to set the current pointer equal to start pointer, do while the current pointer is not equal to zero, and we will just output the node in position current pointer dot data and what we could say then is current pointer is then assigned the node in current pointer dot pointer so we're assuming that this is a record structure that we've set up with two parts, data part and the pointer part. And loop. Let me ignore these. So there we've got an output piece of code. So what we're saying there, we're going to set the current pointer to the start pointer, so that'll become 1. While it's not equal to 0, we'll output the node in current pointer dot data. So we're going to start with here. We are going to output Bill. The current pointer then becomes position one's pointer. So it becomes four. Output Bob, it becomes two. Output Fred, it becomes three. Output Mary, it becomes five. Output Vera, it becomes zero. Do well current pointer is not equal to zero, so once it equals zero, that will end. So what we have got there is the code for outputting the contents 
of a linked list. So that gives us our first algorithm. Okay, what we're going to also cover in this video is how we add to a linked list. Now there's two ways to add to a linked list. The easy one is adding at the beginning of a linked list and the more difficult is adding within a linked list. So let's take adding at the beginning of a linked list. So working our way through this algorithm then, first thing we need to do, let's assume that the item we want to add is in a variable called new item. So we're going to input new item. Now let's take the node in next three dot data it's going to be assigned the new item. So we're placing the new item. Let's look through this as we move move through. So let's assume that we've added, so we're adding at the beginning of the list, let's add Alice. So we've inputted Alice. So new item equals Alice. Okay. Alice is then put in the data of position six. So Alice gets placed there. Okay, so that's adding to the beginning of the linked list. We're going to add a new variable and we're going to call this temp. Temp equals next three. Let's keep this simple, let's keep it the same case. So temp equals next three. So in this case that becomes equal to six. Next three equals the node of next three. So this is the node of next three, the sixth node. Dot pointer. So next three becomes the next one in this next three list. And so notice that becomes seven. Okay. Node of temp. So this is where we place the item, number six, because next three has been incremented. So we're looking back to where we place this new item, which was in temp. We've preserved that. That becomes pointing to the start pointer. Like that. Let's keep this consistent. Add that in there. And the start pointer is now going to equal the temp and so start pointer now becomes 6. If we trace through this algorithm then does this work? Well it's in there let's have a look we've changed these as we've gone along so start pointer is now 6 Alice, Bill, Bob, Fred, Mary, Vera and Yes, that now outputs Alice, Bill, Bob, Fred, Mary, Vera. Let's try and run this one more time, adding another new item into this linked list. Let's add Adam. So we input new item. New item, Adam. The node next three, so next three is seven. That becomes Adam. Temp equals next three temp becomes seven. Next three equals node of next three. So seven's node pointer zero. So next three becomes zero, which means there are no more free spaces. Node in temp for well temp is seven. So the temp's pointer equals the start pointer, which is six, and the start pointer equals temp, which is seven. Let's trace this through, starting at 7, 
Adam, Alice, Bill, Bob, Fred, Mary, Vera, End. There we have it. There we've got two algorithms covered in this video. One for outputting the contents of a linked list and one algorithm for adding an item to the beginning of a linked list. Catch you up in the next video where we'll have a look at adding within a list and we'll also have a look at deleting items.